Hello guys, welcome to the fifth hacking tutorial from TechRoos. In the previous video, we learned a few basic techniques of information gathering, its importance, its types. We also covered a few basic concepts and techniques in passive reconnaissance. In this video, we'd be covering something more fun, active reconnaissance. Now, active reconnaissance is a type of computer attack that engages the target system to gather information about vulnerabilities. So for active reconnaissance, the first tool that we are going to use is Nmap. Nmap is a network mapping tool which scans for ports open, closed or filtered on a target machine and identifies the services which are listening to it. Now, here are a few casually attacked ports, port 22, which runs SSH. SSH stands for Secure Shell. It is commonly used by system administrator to interact with the server or computer. Port 21, which runs FTP or File Transfer Protocol. It is a way of accessing files on a computer remotely. Port 23, which usually runs Telnet. Services like HTTP or FTP are used to allow a user to give access to a specific file or files, but Telnet will log you in as a user of the system and will grant you whatever privileges seem necessary by their system administrator. Now, other ports being 25, which handles SMTP or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, and 53, DNS or Domain Name System. Obviously, hackers attack all the ports on your system so let's get on with nmap now so the first thing that you guys want to do is open up your vmware's we are going to boot into our metasploitable if you guys don't know about metasploitable check out my other video tutorial link will be in the video description you guys can see how to set it up and then you can move on to this tutorial let's start this up all right the system has started Let's log in with our credentials. The default credentials of any Metasploitable is MSF admin and the password is the same, MSF admin. Okay, so we are logged in. Let's type in ifconfig, which will give us our IP address. This is our IP address, 192.168.180.128. Now let's open up our terminals and I have two tabs open over here. If you guys want to open up tabs, just hold control shift and press T this comes in really handy so the first thing you guys want to do is type in nmap and just a IP address of the target so let me switch on my numlock first 192.168.180.128 and hit enter all right the results came fairly quickly but if you are scanning a remote host it's gonna take some time now we can see all the ports that are open and listening ftp ssh telnet smtp domain http and all these ports now metasploitable is used for hackers to practice their skills so almost all of them will grant you an access to the remote server we will exploit it later let's just clear this out i will show you some very basic commands of nmap so type in nmap dash s capital T and the name of sorry the IP address of your target 192.168.180.128 and hit enter now this will give this gives the same output but the difference in the command is that ST where S scan for stands for scan and T stands for TCP now it will establish a TCP connection with the remote host and will output all the TCP ports that are open listening or closed. Now the next command I will show you is dash O. So type in nmap dash O. Again the name of the 180.128 and hit enter. Okay I have to give it root privileges sudo so let's try this again 2.168.180.128 and hit enter now what dash o command gives is it outputs the operating system of the server it gives me linux 2.6 point something and these are not always reliable but there's a very good chance that it will come up with the right operating system. Now let's hit clear. Now the problem with TCP scan is 
that it will always be detected by an intrusion detection system because your computer is establishing a TCP, a three-way connection, three-way handshake with the host itself. So this is not a very good thing. So what you guys want to do is conduct a stealth scan. So type in nmap s, which stands for scan and capital S. Again, the name, sorry, the IP address of the machine and hit enter. Now what it will do is it will not establish a connection to the remote host itself, but it will just send out SYN packets and find out all the ports that are listening. Now, Nmap is a very noisy tool and unless you are using a firewall, it will get detected no matter what and your IP address may get blacklisted by the system administrator. So what you guys want to do is type in Nmap dash S capital S and T2. Again, the name of the, oh God damn it, the IP address of your target. 80.128 and hit enter. Now what this does is, see an intrusion detection system has a threshold. It will start to log your details after you have made enough number of attempts to access it. See TCP scan will usually try to connect to the remote host as much as possible. So what this does is it delays the scan. So as you can see, the output was coming very fast, but now it has delayed. It might take some time. If you want to see how much time is left, just hit space or enter or anything like that. So it's going to take six minutes and 11 seconds. This will slow you down, but trust me, using this is way better. But actually you guys can use a proxy. I'm probably going to make a video tutorial on how to set up proxy chains. And uh, let's, not, let's not wait for it to complete bot because six minutes is way too long for this tutorial and hit control C to stop it. Now let's clear this out. The next thing I want to tell you guys is about wget. Now wget is a very strong command which usually downloads whatever it's on the internet, whatever URL you throw at it, you can download anything through it. So let me show you a simple command wget dash dash wait equals 28 dash dash limit dash rate equals 28k and uh, let's go with dash r dash p dash u and the name of our hmm, website okay let's type in mozilla first i will explain all the commands later mm, and let's type in https colon slash slash google.com and hit enter. Now what wget does is it is going to download all the contents of google.com. Now wait 28 is the time limit we set for it, which means after you establish a connection, wait 28 seconds before you make any other move. 28 KB is the bandwidth we have limited it to and dash U stands for Mozilla. See, some websites will not let you access them until and unless you are using a browser. So we here establish a, that what browser we want to use. Now, it downloaded uh, index.ht. So let's hit ls and uh, this, okay. So this is saved at google.com slash, okay, cd. See, this new directory has been created. Google.com, ls, index.html. Let's cat this out. HTML. See, cat command will output all the files on the terminal itself. Hit enter. Okay, <laughs> I should have probably used uh, an editing software. Okay, so let's type in get it. And uh, hit tab, it will show you index.html. And here you go. <laughs> The code is unreadable, but of course, if you use any other editing software such as Genie or even Notepad++ if you're running Windows, then you can easily read all the source code. So let's just close it and clear this out. See, wget is a very powerful command. You can even download a whole freaking website with it. But for that, we have another tool called HTTrack. Now, HTTrack will mirror a website on your local computer to analyze. Okay, <laughs> sorry, what happened? 
ओके वेज माई टर्मिनल बेटर एंड लेट्स गो ए सी ट्रैक इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर दैट क्रिएट्स अ मिरर ऑफ योर टारगेट वेबसाइट ऑन अ लोकल कंप्यूटर टू एनालाइज इन डेप्थ विदाउट इन लिंगरिंग ऑन योर टारगेट वेबसाइट सो वट यू आई वॉन्ट टू डू इज टाइप इन एस टी ट्रैक डैश डैश हेल्प एंड यू गाइज कैन सी ऑल द ऑप्शन अवेलेबल सो लेट्स जस्ट टाइप इन एस टी ट्रैक एंटर द प्रोडक्ट नेम लेट्स टाइप इट टेस्ट द पाथ ऑफ योर वेबसाइट लेट्स एंड द यू आर एल डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट गूगल डॉट कॉम अगैन डो नॉट टाइप इन डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट गूगल डॉट कॉम अरे नहीं है द कमर्शियल वेबसाइट बिकॉज इट यूजली वेल ब्लैक लिस्ट योर आई पी एड्रेस दिस इज जस्ट फॉर टूटोरियल एंड आई एम जस्ट कॉन क्लोज इट वेन इट स्टार्ट टू मेर द एक्चुअल वेबसाइट सो हेयर आर ऑल द ऑप्शन दैट आर अवेलेबल this will mirror the website and download almost all the files from it so let's hit enter and we don't need any proxy but if you guys want to put any proxy just go to hidemyass.com and you guys will get a lot of proxies from there and hit enter and enter enter and click y when you are ready to launch it will create a folder you guys can go to it and it takes a lot of time now I'm just gonna hit no because I have no intentions of cloning Google. Uh, now, the next thing you guys want to do is go to your terminal and uh, let's experiment with curl a little. Now let's type in curl dash dash help, and I could really use some water right now. Okay, so these are awful lot of commands for a <laughs> four letter command program. Let's scroll down. Let me tell you something about curl. Curl is a command line utility simple to duplicate, but curl suffers from major disadvantage. Unlike duplicate, curl cannot handle recursive downloads. But on the plus side, it supports more protocols than duplicate. Now, let's type in curl um, google dot com, and it will show you the stupid documentation of it. Let's clear this out. and uh, what you guys want to do is curl google.com we can output this file to a custom named file such as example.html and this should have out created see we have example.html created let's cat this out and there you go it has a lot of commands as well uh, such as curl dash o Okay, God damn it. Dash o new test dot html google dot com and hit enter. Ls cat new test dot html and a lot of good stuff. Now we're gonna be experimenting a bit more with Google hacking. or google directives as professional calls it these days so let's minimize our vmware and open up our browsers now it's not a surprise that google is widely used for reconnaissance now google directives are a more effective way of managing the information that you need about your target so uh the first thing you guys would want to do is again <laughs> go to google.com and type in site and the name of the website facebook.com and this comes up with all the bs that is related with facebook every data and this these are actually an awful lot of the results let's see if we can narrow it down to something so what Google directive does it it restricts your search to a single website and it offers a way better way of extracting information during a penetration test so let's try something else S site will remain constant or let's just go all in title index of facebook.com and let's hit enter so we've got 301 results out of i don't know a billion so 
let's try opening these parent directories. See, you can use Google directives a lot and in a lot of very creative ways. So let's try some more commands such as in URL admin. See, it will sign into Google admin. Let's see if we can refine it to Facebook. Yep. Now let's not mess with it and not with this either. Uh, there are a lot of commands and the one that I really like to download stuff is file type PDF, PDF, hit enter. It will point out all the PDF files that are available. See, sometimes often you're looking for a book such as, mm, okay, the hackers playbook two file type PDF. Now hackers playbook two, which is a must read. If you want to get into penetration testing, it helped me out a lot. It will help you out too. Now what file type PDF does is it's pretty clear. will give you all the file type that are anywhere attached to PDF. All these are very interesting ways of finding out all the things you want in a particular format. See, you guys can pass in a website as an argument and let's okay. 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 <laughs> so Google is apparently saying that it's receiving unusual traffic from my computer. So let's select all the images with a patio. Okay. Patio. That's a patio. That's not a patio. Is that a patio or a living room? I don't know. Let's just click verify. Please select all the images and let's click verify. Oh, okay. That was not a living room. Let's clear this first. And let's see if it will yield any results. All right, here you go. Anything that is in PDF form and is related to Facebook. So these are all the techniques that are used in active reconnaissance. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, feel free to dislike or comment if you have more complicated emotions about that. Subscribe if you want to see more of us. And I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial. See ya.